Well, it's your voice, your future here in the Central Valley. And now we know the four congressional candidates who you'll be choosing from in November's general election. Eyewitness News reporter Will Silverstein is in studio to tell us about a 2022 rematch and an all GOP runoff. Will? Well, Rochelle, let's get started with that unprecedented runoff. Republican Tulare County Sheriff Mike Boudreaux beat out 2022 Democrat runner-up Marisa Wood to advance to November. While the district heavily favors Republicans, the district still turned out around 25-35% for Democrats, which leaves a huge block of voters still to be won over come November. However, Sonoma State political science professor David McEwen says some dissatisfied Democrat voters may just skip the race on their ballot. Blue people in red districts have places to go down ballot, uh, and they may skip a race like this, or they may, you know, even vote for someone uh, that that sends a message uh, that they think is a sacrificial lamb uh, of a candidate. So that could potentially help just slightly on the margins. Uh, someone like Boudreaux. Notably, Fong has the Trump and McCarthy endorsements, while Boudreaux touts backing from Sheriff Youngblood and State Senator Shannon Grove. In the 22nd District, McEwen says to expect a lot of GOP spending to protect incumbent David Valdeo against Democrat Rudy Salas. Both sides have a lot at stake here, and that's because the margins are so close. So obviously what has happened recently where Ken Buck of Colorado uh, is leaving early, uh, where Republicans have no votes to spare uh, with their majority. They have two votes, uh, and that, that means that they're going to have to push in a lot of chips. That sends a message within the caucus. That sends a message, uh, the importance of this seat, and uh, it unites also different elements uh, of the Republican Party. For full election results, you can head to our website, bakersfieldnow.com. Reporting in studio, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News.